Hey, Ryan Kleckner from Gun University. I'm a former special operations sniper and sniper instructor, and I'm the best-selling author of the Long Range Shooting Handbook. And in other videos, we've already covered what minutes of angle are, and what mills are, and maybe even which ones are right for you. But let's say you've decided on one unit of measurement, and you have information in the other unit of measurement, and you don't know how to convert back and forth in between. Well, that's what we're gonna cover in this video. The problem with converting between minutes and mills, however, is there's not one straight answer. The reason is there's no clear consensus on how many mils there are in a circle. And you think, how can that be? We broke down the math on what a radian was and how you divide that up and everything, which is true, but an actual mill, there are 6,283.18 and on repeating mills in a circle. It's not an even number. So that's the first reason it's hard to do a conversion between the two is we don't have a nice even number. The other reason is NATO militaries have decided since it's not an even number and since they use mills, let's go ahead and use a rounded version. This is a true mill and a NATO mill is 6,400 mils per circle. So you can see why the conversion is so difficult. We can focus more on the NATO mills and I'll show you why in just a second. But if we do these conversions to figure out how many true mills equal a minute of angle, for true mills, one true mill equals 3.438 minute of angle, and a NATO mill equals 3.375 minutes of angle. So which one do you use? Well, I say use neither because some of these conversions that we're doing back and forth are going to be on the fly and we're doing it with wind calls anyway which are really going to just be educated guesses so my favorite thing to do is just use 3.5 as an easier round number that I can use in my head however if you want to be precise I would go for the NATO mill because that's really what we're dealing with here we're talking about optics and scopes and things like that you can use 3.375 if you really want to be precise but I use 3.5 because it's so much faster in my head so I take the number of mils, if I'm trying to convert to minutes, and I multiply it by 3.5. So mils times 3.5 is going to give me my minutes of angle. Let's do one example. If I have one mil, how many minutes of angle is that? It's 3.5 minutes of angle, 1 times 3.5. If I have two mils, how many minutes of angle is that? It's 7. 2 times 3.5 equals 7 minutes of angle. And if you want to convert the other way, if you have minutes of angle, you have to divide it by 3.5 to get your mills. We'll use the easy numbers again. I have seven minutes and I need to figure out how to put that onto my mill scope. That seven minutes divided by 3.5 is two mills. So now you know that there's a different number of mills in a circle depending on how you count them. You know the precise number you can use to convert and I've given you the number I like to use. It's a rounded fudge number that makes it a lot easier to convert in the field. So in your dope book, write that down Stick with your system, learn your system, but if you ever have information in the other one, you now know how to convert it.